picture of an airplane that I've been thinking about um, doing a, a, a sort of fairly small design um, for, um, which is the Martin Baker MB5. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag a JPEG image of the Martin Baker into um, this, the model area, which is like a, a large um, infinite canvas. Really, I can have it as big as I want, create anything I want in here, and then create the take the bits that I've created and put them on individual sheets of paper for printing. So I'm going to click on Insert. I'm going to go to Raster Image, and I want to do it from a file. Um, it's on my desktop, so I'm going to click on the desktop. Don't want a bitmap. I want a JPEG. Um, and uh, if I scroll across, hopefully I will find the file I want. Um, it is there, Martin Baker MB5. Hit Open, and then I click and drag to create my image. There you go. Um, now the next thing I want to do is just resize the image um, so that. Uh, it's the right size um, for the aircraft that uh, I want to design, the model I want to design. So I'm just going to get a rough idea of what sort of size the drawing is on the sheet of paper here. Just scroll in on the wingspan, grab the wingspan there. And just, I'm actually going to use uh, a rectangle because it's actually the quickest way of doing it. Um, just drag a rectangle to give me a measure of the size of the drawing. Now you can see there um, that that rectangle is 343.11 uh, millimeters um, in uh, in length. Um, so I'm going to actually resize the airplane. I want is probably around a meter wingspan. So I'm actually going to resize the whole thing, um, take it up three times. So I hit Escape to get rid of that um, partially drawn rectangle. Going to scroll out, and then I'm going to use the little arrow select button up here to put the uh, crosshairs in select mode. I'll select the um, the JPEG, and then you see just down to the right of the mouse um, here, I've got the opportunity to put in the scale. So I'm going to go for three times, I hit Tab to go to scale Y three times, then I'll hit Enter, and the drawing will triple in size. So now the drawing in front of me um, is uh, about the size that I want um, for my finished design. Let's drag that so it's in a nice place to work on. Now the next thing I want to do is just get an idea of how wide uh, my fuselage is going to be in the finished design. So what I'm going to do is just scroll in on the fuselage there and I'm going to just again using a rectangle just take a measure um, at the widest point um, and you'll see, uh, let's just do it so we can see which measurements which, you'll see that it's coming out at about 116 uh, millimeters, which is actually uh, not too bad. Actually, that's that's probably not a difficult size. I'm planning to to build this from Depron and um, from uh, an expanded polystyrene uh, insulation foam, which comes in bats, which are uh, roughly two inches, 52 and a half millimeters uh, wide. So I'm probably heading into the kind of territory where. Um, that should work okay. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do actually on the drawing is I'm going to take a, a trace um, for the outline of my wing. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and put in a center line. Now we'll find out now whether this drawing um, is actually drawn square or not, or scanned square. Sometimes they are and sometimes they aren't. If I hold the shift key down that's good enough. You'll see that the shift key makes the lines that I'm drawing only work um, at 90 degree angles. So it'll go straight down um, uh, and, uh, or straight up or straight across. So let's put that line in that gives me a center line um, for, for tracing the, the, the wing from the uh, top of the fuselage. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trace the outline of the wing. So again I'm going to use the line tool uh, I'm just going to zoom in using the scroll button on the mouse uh, and I'm just going to literally click there at the beginning of the line. This is a nice straight leading edge which makes life a lot easier. Uh, which we can scroll in still with the mouse while we're still drawing and uh, I'm just going to click there which is at the end of the straight line on the wing and uh, just to help me go around the corner let's divide that up into segments like so. Scroll back out again uh, roughly straight to there. Again, divide this curved line up into segments, like so. And then I'm going to um, scroll, just use the drag line to take up to there. And 
So, right, so that that's the wing outline. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the scale aileron size. I'm not quite sure yet whether I'm going to do the aileron scale. They're not huge um, on the aeroplane, and uh, I may want them a bit bigger than that. But if I put in a reference point now to give me the, the, the size of the aileron, that will make it easier in the future. So I'm going to use the shift key just to make sure that that line comes straight in. And then up to there, and then again the shift key to go across there, like so. Um, looking at it, it might not be a bad thing just to mark the position of the, the cannon, but I'm going to do that just by marking a little centre line, like so. Uh, that may come in useful later if I want to put them on, which I probably will. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror the, the wing that I've drawn onto the other side. Rather than try and trace it twice and run the risk of inaccuracy creeping in and the two wings ending up uh, not exactly the same, what I'm actually going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the the wing that I've drawn and draw, select everything that I've drawn there. Whoops, I don't want that. Do that and I'm going to just click and drag and you'll see that has selected the wing that I've drawn. The next thing I need to do, I've got to modify uh, hit mirror and it says define the first point of the mirroring line. Well let me scroll in on the, uh, the point of the line I've, I've picked up there. Uh, hold down shift key and I'm pretty much guaranteed that that will um, mirror across the center line which I drew using the shift key. So the next thing I can do uh, I'm going to actually take that wing off. Just take a copy of that wing off the this, this sketch. Um, Control C um, click on the paper. Uh, there's my drawing. Control V. I'm going to turn it through 90 degrees, uh, which in this case 270 degrees. Uh, they have um, a the wing, uh, which is uh, sort of the beginnings of uh, the drawing of my outline of a wing. So that's very very good. Okay, let's go back to the model. And uh, I'll just trace off the tail plane in exactly the same way, just so you get to see me do it again. So click there to pick up the drawing tool. And then I'm going to draw from there to there. I'm going to pick up the elevator line. Escape, and then I'm going to pick the drawing up again here. So I've got my two pieces for my elevator, the horizontal stabilizer. I've been just tracing around here. Let me go just a touch further there. And then that goes to there, like so. And again, I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with the wing. Go to select tool. Uh, that won't be quite far enough in. Let's just do it like that. Let's go from there. No, that won't be far enough in either. There you go. We've got all of it now. And then we're going to modify it using the mirror tool. And we'll click on the line. Hit shift. And there you go. I should end up again with the plane. Yeah, which, if I'm just going to do that, you can see. There's paper one. Control V to paste, turn it through. Then I have a scale tail plane. Now, some aeroplanes, um, some of you will know, fly better with slightly over scale tail plane, particularly when we talk about models um, going slightly bigger than actual scale. Um, if I wanted to increase the size of the tail unit by, say, um, say 5%, um, then I'm going to scale it 1.05. Enter. Um, that control Z takes that back. We didn't. We didn't do it on both axes. So 1.05 tab, 1.05, and it just increased in size very slightly, um, which uh, means that it should make things a little bit more stable. Oh, well, there you go. So that's the uh, beginning of uh, how you would go about grabbing some bits for your foamy model. Um, using DoubleCAD XT. Um, we may be back later with uh, another tutorial.